I'm back. Uh, I had some other things I did not show you on my, uh, I'll post this on Instagram and YouTube, but I showed you the Civil War sword, um, as I did in the last video of the Civil War sword. It's a Confederate saber. It's not original, it's a replica. And this... Uh, is some kind of rifle case. It's a rifle case. My dad gave me it from the uh, his storage. It's antique. I know that. It's 100% original. But I'm not sure what rifle case it is. If you can, guys, let me know in the comments below. But let's take a closer look. I didn't show you all this yet, but it's 100% original. Looks like a cavalry regiment rifle case. It could be from World War One. Who knows? The Franco Prussian War it could even be from the Napoleonic Wars, like a uh, short rifle musket, or it could be from World War One. Those. It could be a Winchester rifle case. It could be anything. But I know it's old rifle case. My guess it would be late as if it was between the timeline be maybe Napoleonic Wars to World War One. One of those in between that timeline would be well, it's probably World War One or like Napoleonic Wars or Franco Prussian War or something. You know, early nineteen hundreds, late eighteen hundreds or seventeen hundreds. But it's hundred percent original, I'm pretty sure. And it's a old rifle case. And I actually thought about buying I have to do a background check and everything, but I thought about buying a real surplus old World War II, uh, our old surplus rifle. Um, don't worry, I, I'm, I'm dressed. I got pajama bottoms on, so I'm dressed pretty much. Got my robe on too. But anyhow, because you saw me, but don't worry, I'm pretty much fully dressed. But anyhow, like I was saying, uh... Got pajama bottoms on and stuff. Like I was saying, I thought about getting a old surplus rifle sometime. Not sure when I'm going to have to talk to my mom and some people about it. I really see no issues in owning one at all. Plus, my dad taught me a lot about gun safety. But maybe I'll find one that fits this case. Just collecting the rifle itself, and then sometime take it to the range and shoot it. But, yeah, anyhow, I have to do a background check, too, you know, that kind of stuff. You always have to do a background check. I gotta get a new ID, too. My ID expired. But, anyhow, um... Uh, save up for one, two. Um, save up for a old rifle, surplus rifle. Like I said, I gotta save up for it, too. But anyhow, this is the rifle case. Not sure which era. So if you guys can let me in the co uh, comments below, that'd be great on Instagram or Facebook. If I ever post it on Facebook. Or definitely YouTube. But, yeah. It's really, really neat. You can open it. What does that say? Uh, L O I O pot. I don't know what that says. What does that say? Can't tell. Don't know what that says. If you guys can read it, let me know. what it says. I don't know what that says. It might be French or who knows. Prussian. Might be Belgian. Dutch. I don't know. But it's really, really neat. German. German. So that's that right there. Really cool. I think, oh yeah, I also have something else to show y'all. It's our airsoft replica. But it's almost like the real thing do have an airsoft replica. Also got a uh, airsoft replica 
um, full metal body construction, of course, realism, um, a airsoft replica Glocker, it's a PP, PPQ, PPQ6 or something, pistol, I got something right here, I don't have the battery stick, I actually forgot it at storage, I forgot to bring the battery stick, but it is a airsoft replica Tommy gun. So Thompson, I used to use this in airsoft Sunday skirmishes when I used to do airsoft milsoms or Sunday skirmishes. I think for milsoms, I would usually use the M4. I have an M4 too. But yeah, I bought this Thompson. We use this in milsoms, I think, too, as well. It's an airsoft Tommy gun. It's really cool. Yeah, it's on safety. But it can't go off because it doesn't have the battery stick. And that tag is when I got it chrono-owned. At the chrono range, chrono is like chrono-owned is like measuring the FPS before you play. You have to get your gun chrono-owned in a mill sum. Maybe not a Sunday skirmish. I think they did it maybe for Sunday skirmishes. Actually, maybe not. I think may, I don't remember, but I know for sure they did it for Milsom's. Measuring the feet per second. They have restrictions on FPS uh, range of, you know, FPS on airsoft BBs, not real bullets. We're not using real bullets. We're using uh, airsoft replicas for airsoft Milsom's or Sunday skirmishes. So that, that one's really cool. Airsoft Thompson. And I got that too. For almost forgot to sell that. I'll link it. But I'm selling some stuff actually. I need to sell that. I think I'm going to sell that. But I am selling on eBay. I'll link it in the description below on YouTube and Instagram, and I'll put it in my bio on Instagram. I'm selling this on eBay. It's a, it's pretty much a reproduction modern canteen cover. I got this at a military surplus store a long time ago when I used to do airsoft. You know, the group thing, not neighborhood airsoft. And I'm selling... I think these are the boots. These don't fit me anymore. They're 11 and a halfs. See size 11 and a half. Is, is that any of y'all size? Y'all guy size? Shoes are boots. 11 and a half. I'm selling them on eBay. You could check it out in my bio or link below on YouTube. In the description. I got this really cool airsoft pistol. Got a Luger, too. Airsoft Luger. As well. See, I showed you that before. That's really cool. But, I got this other Airsoft pistol. In here. Let me take it out. I shoot this... Just straighten back at the bayou sometimes. Shoot at the bayou. She takes green gas. Or uh, CO2. Have this thing right here. See? Get okay, yourself Glock. Show y'all. It's more of a PPQ26 replica. As you can see, won't go off at all. But doesn't have a mag in it. You can see it's right here. It's really cool. But it's not spring, it, it's automatic. It has blowback action. It's really, really neat. It's a really cool gun. It's not even loaded. It's a PPQ 26. I believe. Walther. It's. Made by Walther. Walther. So it's a Walther made PPQ twenty six, but it's a it's a model. It's not it's not real. It's a model Walther. Sorry about that, guys. Someone just interrupted me. That was very annoying. 
But, uh, yeah, someone just interrupted me while I was making a video. So I think somebody called me or something. But, anyway, like I said, it's a replica Walther, not Amy at anybody, but it's not real. It's a, it's a replica. But, yeah, it's really, really neat, like I said, and it's just a model version. So it's really cool. It doesn't have a mag in it. Of course, if it was real, I wouldn't be dry firing it. I mean, I could. I probably. I don't want. I don't dry fire guns normally. But if it was real, I wouldn't be loading a mag in there. If shooting in the house, that's not smart, right? No, you don't do that. That's bad. But uh, yeah, you know, it could hurt somebody. So I got. I'm not gonna do that. Don't want to do that, but yeah, this is a really cool, cool replica. It's airsoft BB replica, as you can see. So it's really, really, really cool. It's a good gun. Good replica. So, yeah, yeah, it's emptied out. But you can do that too. It's really, really cool. That means it's out of green gas. It's it's a beaut it's a it's a beaut man. It's a very nice uh, replica. So there you have that. Pretty cool stuff. So that's the one I was shooting that works. Um, the other, the Airsoft Luger, I have to get the O-rings replaced. I've been firing the Airsoft Luger <laughs> and Milsom's a lot. And Sunday skirmishes, except like I said, this is a PPQ 26 Glock. Or PPQ Walther 26, but Walther, you know, pistol. Just a model version, but the, the, the Luger, um, I have to get the O-rings replaced because I fired it so much and it's not meant to be fired my airsoft luger i showed you earlier it's in there right now that one uh it's it's meant to be more of a collector's item so it's not meant to be fired a lot but I just for the heck of it i wanted to use it a little bit and uh airsoft mill summer sunday skirmish so I have to get the O-rings replaced because it really, the gas leaks out. It's been fired a lot, so that's that. But this one works perfectly fine because this is not really made to collect. It's more of a collector. It's more of a uh, Airsoft Milsom pistol. Replica, like I said before, it's not real, it's a replica. But it's got the realistic weight to it. It's a nice, nice, nice replica. It's a very good gun. Replica. Firearm or gun. It's not a firearm, but you get what I mean. It's a nice one. Here's the BBs it takes. So, of course, I don't shoot anybody with it unless I'm like, you know, airsoft group Milsom or something. We got all our eye protection on we got our eye pro on and then you don't need like body armor for this like in paintball it just hurts it doesn't you know draw blood or anything it just hurts like it's like a bee sting you know it's like paintball sort of it's like paintball so they are strict metal bb's um they don't allow you to use metal bb's that's one of the safety rules Got referees out in the field to make sure you're okay and safe. So, I played airsoft so many times and I just had a ball. But I haven't played in a while because it, it gets expensive. Because, um, but once you already got gear, you can play again. Um, like if you, it's a lot cheaper. If you play a Sunday skirmish, it's almost free. But like at a Milsom, the ticket could cost like up to 50 or 60 bucks. Um, 
if you're at like a play on a paintball field. Now the private fields, privately owned fields, not like borrowed airsoft mill some paintball fields, which they use the whole field. They have to be big enough for airsoft. But like the private fields, which are miles uh big and um the private property fields are acres big miles big too i think you have to pay a couple hundred bucks a ticket yeah the air like i said airsoft gets really expensive and you have to pay for ammunition maybe if you want some airsoft grenades like thunder bees um some you know, airsoft grenades, specifically for airsoft. Of course, not real ones. We'd never use that. But, you know, ones that are safe uh, to play with. Go out there and have a good time and play airsoft. But, uh, yeah, it, like I said, it, it could get really expensive. So, I just haven't had the money to play one yet. But if you're if you're willing not to spend as much, I would rather go to Sunday skirmish. And if you actually want to go to the mail some and don't have a couple hundred bucks in your wallet, or even more, you might want to try uh, uh, airsoft mail some at like a paintball field, like at tanks. Me and Dad used to play tanks paintball a lot. Now the now the couple hundred dollar mail sums, like I discussed, like what they were before like Milsom West that hosts these events they're out of state so they're not in Texas they'll be in like Alabama sometimes they're in the UK actually they're worldwide so you're talking a lot of money uh to go attend and prepare for so like I said airsoft is very expensive but yeah, if you're starting with it, the best bet is to, like I said, play at Tanks Paintball here locally in Texas and leave it in Richmond. Just try and go there and you'll have a very good time. Like I used to do, I never got to do, play on the private fields, actually. Never ever, because they're very expensive, like I said, it's a very expensive hobby. So, yeah, that is cool. That's that. That's my airsoft replica that works. Um, I got to get the battery stick for the airsoft Thompson. Actually, left that at storage. Forgot about it. But, uh, yeah. And, yeah, like I said, I got to sell that. But uh, I'll link it in the description below and the bio on Instagram, posted on YouTube. But I'm selling those boots size 11 half. They're swap boots, actually. Basically, I call them original, but they're pretty much used because I use those things for airsoft and Milsom Sunday skirmishes and a lot of st hiking. I, I use those, so I guess original, use an original. But yeah, I use that through some tactical stuff. So, yeah, what else? Like I said, it's selling that and this modern canteen cover on eBay. Go look and check it out. So that's all I have to show off. That's the rest of my stuff. And I'll have airsoft stores where you can buy camo and stuff, but... I would use this thing. I bought this. It's a real military tunic. Um, see, it's got the woodland camo. This is where I would use at airsoft normally with the vest, which all my airsoft gears and storage, like I said, because I haven't played airsoft in so long. Maybe I'll bring it all back. And when I get into airsoft again, I probably just don't have enough room for for it in my closet. My closet's really, really kind of full, as you can see. But as you can see, um, um, I have this thing, mil real military grade tunic, God's Army. It says Carter on it. It's really, really cool. But yeah, I think you could sew your actual name on it too, I believe. But I bought this for Airsoft 
Nelson Sunday skirmishes. And you don't have to shop everything at the military surplus stores. Just more cheaper cheaper and afforded, affordable if you want to get gear. Airsoft guns, you look at it regular airsoft online store or they used to have one called extreme airsoft but the company got bought by the company that extreme airsoft bought their company from it was helping them out but they sell everything there last time i heard the new company who took over and sold it to the to that company uh they got airsoft and everything is last time i heard airsoft guns gear Everything is what I heard last time. One time, I was wondering, you know, I asked somebody that I used to know what happened to Extreme Airsoft, and he said they got bought out by somebody and uh, sells everything. See you guys in the next video. See you next time on Instagram and YouTube, and maybe Facebook. And Facebook, of course. Bye, guys, and bye bye. Hope you enjoyed. Ciao. Bye bye. Happy summer. And happy 2022. Bye-bye. Ciao.